Mr. Postel, you are coming to the Czech Republic at the time when the Czech Parliament is about to take decision on the deploying of the European Missile Defense System here in Czech. Uh, could you summarize in short your major findings about the proposed European Missile Defense? Well, we've been examining this defense in quite a lot of detail at MIT for quite a while. And uh, one of the most astonishing uh, pieces of our analysis was the discovery that uh, the radars, all the radars that they're proposing, that is to say the radar in the Czech Republic and what is called the forward-based X-band radar that's supposed to go somewhere in southern Europe, uh, are not able to do the job that they're supposed to do. Uh, if you look at the literature provided to uh, our European allies, our, our meaning U.S. European allies, uh, it claims that these radars will perform certain critical functions which are absolutely essential to whether or not this system can work. Mm -hmm. And our analysis shows that neither of these radars can do that. They just don't have uh, what's called uh, the, the combination of average power radiating from their uh, antenna and a large enough antenna to collect reflected signal mm -hmm. to actually see objects at long enough range to function in the way they're supposed to. So literally, from a simple engineering perspective, the radars cannot do the job. Mm -hmm. President Obama, actually, President Obama has stated he will support the, the deploying of the European Missile Defense System only if the functionality and the capability uh, of the system is proved. Uh, what do you think about his, his statement? It's a basically uh, sound approach with regard to uh, President-elect Obama. Uh, and I think uh, he's doing the right thing in uh, that he's going to uh, perform, have an analysis done to review whether this system works technically. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can say that that analysis has already been done. Of course, the United States government under Obama has to do its own independent assessment. Mm -hmm. But I think the independent assessment will show that this uh, radar cannot possibly perform the job and the missile defense cannot possibly work. So my expectation is that uh, the result of the um, appropriate um, review, technical review of the situation, will lead to the cancellation of this radar in the system. Mm -hmm. So why do you think the Bush government is actually trying to build the system so hard, even if uh, it lacks the functionality? Well, I think um, the this whole process has been driven uh, by uh, ideology rather than uh, even military common sense. Forget about political issues, which are also another important dimension of this problem. And um, it's impossible for me to believe that the uh, American Missile Defense Agency did not know that this radar cannot function. Uh, I just cannot believe it. The people who build the radar by virtue of the, op, you know, the, the, the activity of building the radar know in great detail what the radar is capable of, uh, of doing. Mm -hmm. So when a Lieutenant General Obering comes over here and says that um, this radar will function, uh, he either has to know that what he's saying is not true or he has to know nothing about the uh, area he's supposed to be in charge of. I, I don't have a third explanation. So. Um, uh, I think that's very serious. Uh, that's a problem. I believe the Czechs will see this as a problem. And I certainly, as an American citizen, see it as a serious problem. And I have been raising these questions with the American Congress. What would be your suggestion to the members of the Czech Parliament who are taking decision on the deploying of the radar, uh, radar in, in the Czech Republic? Well, of course, I'm, I, I'm not a Czech citizen, uh, and uh, I, I don't want to uh, pretend to tell uh, the Czechs what to do. But certainly, uh, as a uh, vibrant uh, and vigorous uh, democracy, uh, it seems to me that the Czech parliament should want to know in every detail that's relevant uh, what the situation is. And it's very clear that uh, the Czech parliament has not been given uh, the information information that's publicly available has been, as far as I can tell, misrepresented as somehow secret. And uh, I consider this a, uh, a serious um, impediment 
to uh, the function of a, a democracy. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, uh, it's every parliamentarian's decision what to do about this, but I, I would urge people to consider the negative impacts on uh, the Czech democracy by allowing decisions to be made without uh, information being provided to the parliament and, and, the, um, uh, and the public. Uh, it's simply undemocratic. And I would hope that the Czech parliamentarians keep that in mind. Mr. Postol, thank you very much. You're very welcome.